What is up guys, it's boy Gonzo and welcome back to a new tutorial, this time in FL Studio because it makes sense. Today I'm going to show you guys how to make some bouncy drums. It's actually not that hard, but let's just jump into it. So as you can see, I have no drums loaded up besides the default ones, and it would only make sense to use my bounce kit, which you can get for 50% off until tomorrow, but you don't have to use it. I'm just plugging my own stuff because it makes sense. So I'm just going to choose some bouncy sounding drums and I'm gonna show you guys what I mean in a second and then we're gonna make the drums so for the snare I'm thinking of something hard hitting but not too over the top so something like this then for the hi-hats this one is nice because it's stereo this one is also nice but I'm gonna be uh, adjusting it a bit and maybe pitching it down and uh, for the open hats this one is nice because it's pretty short I'm also going to pick one crash, this one is perfect, and as for the kick, I have two options. I'm thinking of using the, the classic one, or using this one, but I'll probably be using both and i show you what I mean in a second. And now for the 808, it's kind of hard to pick one without the melody, but you can always go for something like this, or even a classic you know, short 808. I'm actually gonna pick the short one this time and have fun with it. So now we have most of the drums. We have a kick, we have another kick for layering purposes, we have the 808. We have three hi-hats, actually two hi-hats and one open hat. We have a crash and a snare. So I'm gonna start off by picking a bouncier BPM. So it could be either like 115, 120, all the way up to like 150, 160, but I'm probably gonna go somewhere in the middle, so 140. And now I'm gonna lay down the snares, make sure the loop points are disabled because FL Studio does that sometimes and it's really not pleasant. And we should have something like this. Pretty standard. Also, uh, make sure to get rid of the limiter because you wanna have your shit slap, you know? So that's the wrong thing. Just add a uh, soft clipper on the master and you should be fine. Let's start off by using our main hi-hats, this one and I'm gonna play with the out knob so it's a bit shorter and also let's change the pitch okay so I pitched it down uh, 800 cents which is 800 semitones which is perfectly fine so we're gonna right click and fill each two steps for now just so we have an idea on, on the BPM and the grooviness and I'm gonna use the second one once every few every few, every few steps so And I'm actually gonna make this, I'm gonna stack it with itself. I'm gonna enable uh, the envelope and do this shape, delay all the way down, attack all the way down, hold all the way up, decay all the way down, sustain, doesn't really matter, and the release all the way down. So now I can highlight these nodes by holding down control and making them longer. And now I'm gonna hold shift, click them, drag them down, release shift, and stack them with itself, basically stack the hi-hat with itself, but one octave lower. And make the notes longer. And also, turn down the velocity a bit. And it sounds pretty cool. Now we're gonna use the open hat once every two snare hits, so once again, enable the envelope just so we have full control over the length of the open, open hat and put it like this. Change the velocity back to normal. Actually, like this. And let's chop the note in half. Now, let's add some basic kicks. Actually, let's have fun with the kicks. So normally on a trap beat or in a trap beat, you would hear the classic this pattern. And then it would repeat itself. Also increase the velocity on the snare just because. But it's a bit too simple. So instead of having the, the pattern like this, we're gonna move the second kick note two steps on the right. And also remove the last note, which was here, and then we could either place it two steps on the left or two steps on the right, or both, if you feel like it. 
and then you can repeat this whole part so go into the piano roll select all of these hold shift drag that to the right and now let's add some more notes like this and now you can spice it up with adding some extra notes let's say right here actually let's have the first part a bit more simple and then it gradually goes you know more complicated or more interesting so we're gonna take the third note which is this one and we're gonna add an extra note behind it or before it we're gonna make it this long select it press alt and u and let's play with the time multiplicator knob this is fine but now we're gonna play with the velocity so we're gonna make it like a ramp like a staircase and you can also have fun with it and play with the panning too so you can randomize it or just make it left left right right or right right left left or left right right left left you know what I mean that's pretty interesting and you can also make this twice as long and uh, on the very last bar on the very last snare hit you can actually stack it with a with a kick so it sounds like this but that's up to you also i chose the second kick to layer it with the first kick how am i gonna do it because both kicks hit pretty hard so i'm gonna copy the pattern from the first kick place it on the second kick and then i'm gonna go in the mixer which is the second channel for me i'm gonna add a uh, an eq i'm also gonna solo the second channel and then right click on the first channel so we can only hear the kicks and I'm gonna create a high pass filter by doing it like this so that way we have the hard hitting kick as the main kick and then the second one as a layering kick basically so it adds more frequency so you can actually hear it on a mobile phone or you know on a laptop speaker and it sounds pretty cool actually now let's go over to the 808 so assuming we know the scale uh, i'm gonna create an envelope so we can control the length of the 808 let's say we have a melody right so i'm gonna have to, the 808 follow the melody a little bit i'm also gonna start by copying the kicks and then pasting them over the 808 just so we have an idea on how the kicks go and i'm also gonna add the note at the end of the pattern and then press ctrl l which enables legato on the previous note and now this is how it would sound like But I don't really want the 808 to only follow the kicks. So what I'm going to do is stop it whenever the snare hits. So like this. So that way it feels like it's breathing and it, it creates more space for the snare to hit. Also, what I'm going to do is remove these uh, fast notes from the 808. And I'm also going to remove them from uh, the second kick. So it doesn't sound like a wide noise being raised up in volume. Now, going back to the 808, um, you can keep the 808 on C5 or on the default root note, but it's going to sound boring, so you can always, you know, make it more melodic. Also, I'm going to increase the velocity on the 808 just so it hits harder. So maybe something like this. You need to find the balance between what the elements are playing at the same time because for an example i initially wanted to add the same thing that i did here to this note but then it would sound pretty weird because of the rolling kicks keeping it simple but also keeping it simple in a smart way is really important now most of the drums are pretty much done what you can do is add some extra things that could actually work out so maybe adding an extra snare like this You could also spice things up by adding a rim shot and placing it like this. But don't have it too often because then it's gonna get boring. So, you know, keep it balanced. You could always, you know, throw in a, a percussion loop. If you use splice, you can find so many of them. Uh, you can probably find them online or you can just make them yourself. See what works and then 
save the pattern as a WAV file so you can always reuse it if you feel like it. You can do so many things. Just keep it remotely simple and find the balance between what elements could go while what elements could not go. That makes no sense. Just keep it balanced. But now before I end the video, here's me doing a QA. and a All right, so yesterday I asked you guys on Instagram to leave me some questions so I can answer them at the end of this video and here they are. How did you come to producing? I think that'd be kind of interesting. Long story short, I started back in 2012. I wanted to make dubstep. I failed miserably because I was 11 or 12. I picked it up again and so on and so forth until 2016-ish when I discovered Suicide Boys and then I actually started making beats and I liked it and I'm still doing it since then. Are you reading DMs? Yes, I am, but I don't always answer to them because most of y'all ask me for, hey, can you listen to my beat? And I don't always want to do it, so I'm sorry. But, you know, if you want to interact with me, do it more like a human, not just a spam bot. What's the future looking like for Gonzo slash Persona? Well, Gonzo is planning on making a lot of music and selling a lot of beats. If you want beats, uh, buy them, please. As for Persona, I'm currently trying to find a style. I'm doing a lot of stuff. Do I want to do some experimental stuff? Do I want to do something more uh, normy, if you know what I mean, something that's catchy? So, I don't know. Is the Christmas tree still up? Yes. What are your next moves slash plans with music? I encourage you to find placements. That's actually my plan right now to, you know, sell beats and uh, get placements maybe sometime soon. I don't know, I gotta send my stuff to artists. How can you actually build a SoundCloud fan base? Uh, it's hard because you need to interact with a lot of people, you need to build connections, you know, comment to, to someone that you like that's remotely underground too, and then, you know, build a friendship with them and eventually they'll repost your tracks, they'll comment and, you know, more people are gonna see it, so just keep on doing this and try not to look just for engagement, look for, you know, friendships too, because it's more natural to just, hey, what's up how are you wanna you know how to interact with people so i guess that's the best way of doing it when are you dropping your next song uh persona wise soon uh gun so wise i don't know i'm working on a lot of things and i don't know which ones to release when is your next drum kit coming out uh i don't know it's gonna be a big one but i'm working on the loop pack which is gonna come out soon i'm hoping in the next few weeks i don't know exactly but soon when will you stop using Ableton, you dirty rat traitor? Uh, thank you, Shinji. Uh, never. I like it. I like both FL and Ableton, even though I find myself using Ableton a bit more than FL. I like both. Can you do a backflip? Uh, yes, just look. There we go. Favorite video or beat you have done? Favorite video? I don't know. It's a hard one. I like doing those one minute ones most, because, uh, you know they're fun to do they take less time and i can be funny so probably those uh while for beat i don't know actually if you had to use only one 808 for the rest of your life what would it be something long and fat that's what she said but no an actual 808 that i can use in most tracks if it's short i can make it longer if it's longer i can make it shorter so yeah ableton versus fl both what do you do to counter depression? I don't have problems with depression anymore, not as much at least as I used to do, it's really subtle. But just take your mind off it, I know it's hard, just do something. Keep yourself busy, make beats, play games, work out, do anything else but think. What is your favorite genre to produce? I like trap, but I wanna get into EDM, I like, you know, like, gritty rhythm and hybrid trap, anything bass heavy. When can we meet in a lucid dream? Well. Uh, fun fact, I'm actually your sleep paralysis demon. I just make beats in a corner and I make sure that the 808 is off key. When will you drop a new sample pack? I need more godly 808s. Uh, as I said soon, I don't know when the drum kit is gonna come out, maybe this year, not sure, because I want to work on it and I want it to have a lot of sounds and a lot of unique sounds too. So, worst case scenario, maybe January, February. I don't know. Ass or titties? Well, I'm more of a soul kind of guy, but if the soul has an ass, then I'm probably gonna go for it. And those were the questions. Thank you for watching this video. Uh, if you want to support me, you can buy my drum kits and loop packs and everything. You can also buy my beats if you're looking into buying beats. You have all of the links in the description. Also, please follow me on my social medias because I post a lot more sometimes on my Instagram and I post funny shit on Twitter. So, you know, keep up to date and fucking, I don't know. Just please follow me or I'm gonna cry. But yeah, it was your boy Ganso and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.
peace.